welcome to computational science youtube channel uh, as you remember uh, in our previous classes uh, we have seen about uh, the acceleration due to gravity using simple pendulum in our today classes we are going to see about the Hooke's losses if you remember is the look Hooke's loss when we are attach some uh, masses on the springs that springs due to attaching that forces it can be stretched when you can resolve that masses it's back to original uh, position that means it can have restoring forces so due to this in our today classes we are going to calculate the spring constant the spring constant so to calculate the spring constant this we know that is if we have the springs if we have some spring can be uh, uh, just have these forms and this uh, spring can be attached with some strings with some fixed points then if this have this is have our initials x initial means before attaching any masses on that springs the spring position have just like these forms then if we are adding some weight is on this springs this springs increase or it have stretched for example if this is our original position or initial position before attaching any masses then if you are attaching any masses it have increase or it have make stretches and come here for example and uh, this is stretch due to this stretch this increases length we call this is x final we have initial here here we have final so due to this to get the amount of stretch of this springs we can take that is change in x is equal with x final minus x initial means that we can minus from x final when attaching the masses then minus initial position so this is the displacement or the position of the uh, uh, springs so when this spring is attached it have initial and final position also because of attaching a masses we have a gravity due to this we have a force that force is, is equal with this weight due to this we have say that force is equal to mass times g here we have mass time g expression or is this expression using the springs due to the spring constant the force acting on this is equal with k times change in x k means the spring constant all springs have it is k constant and the change in x means the amount of stretching so due to this to get the spring constant our objective is to calculate the spring constant from Hooke's law, we can find for this f is equal to mg is equal to k times change in x. So from this, where where m is the mass, the masses attaching to the springs, the mass g is the uh, gravity, gravity, k is spring constant, spring constant, change in x is the extension of the springs this is extension of the springs the springs so to get this k we have this mg is equal to k times change in x from this k is equal to mg change in x we are use this formula and to calculate the spring constant k is equal to mass times gravity divided by amount of the spring extension this is to calculate the spring constant in another expression also we can calculate the workers or the work done on the springs is given by 1 over 2 k times spring constant time change in x square this is amount of stretch square so we can solve or we can calculate this both k and the spring constant in this experiment let us go to experiments so here this is the springs this all is the springs we have different types of springs now this spring is can be attached with the standards in just like forms now we are not add any masses now it have initial position initial position so in the experiment first we can measure the length of the springs before attaching any masses now let us measure this from the top to here this is around seven centimeter you you get here this is around seven centimeter so this is our initial point this initial point means we have a data so we can take that as our initial point is, is 
it is initial position here we have number of trial mass in gram extension means initial position before attaching any mass we can record here final position when we are attaching the four the some masses then after a stretch we can record here then you can take the change change here then we, we can calculate the forces by m times g here we can calculate the spring constant finally you can calculate the uh, work of springs now we have take that our initial position is before attaching we can take seven centimeter this is around if you can change in meters we can take 0 0.07 meter we have this now when you can measure this uh, initial position we are not add, uh, adding some mass and so the mass is zero here we can take the mass of zero the, because of this if you are noting not add any masses this spring is not straight due to this we haven't just like this this is we have in this because we have in the changes if you are not ma add a masses that spring is stays in the equilibrium position so if it is saying this we cannot calculate this the first step is let us add 50 grams on the springs this is 50 grams we can add 50 grams from this is the masses here we have some masses <coughs> this is 50, <coughs> 50 grams let us add 50 gram on the spring. Now, when you are adding the mass 50 gram, the spring is straight. Now we can, <coughs> we can measure the length of the straight. We have initially seven, then <coughs> finally is um, same points, one, two, three, four around 10.4 <clears throat> our initial is 7 centimeter this is 0 0.07 centimeter our final is around 10.4 centimeter we have this when we are adding 50 gram let us try another experiment let us adding another 50 grams on this now this is 50 this is 50 means that this is 100 gram 100 gram now this is more stretched it's more stretched now we have 100 gram then it is more stretched now we can measure the amount of stretch of this spring This is around 70.2, 70.2 centimeter. Now this is initially is constant, 7 centimeters, this is 0 0.07 meter. This is around 70.2 centimeters, it's straight just like this. Let us add another 50. This means 150 grams. Now I'm adding 50. Now this is 150. This is 150 grams. The fourth trial. Now we can record the stretched lengths from original positions around around 24, 24 cm. This is 7 cm. This is around 24 cm straight. Now we can record initial position and the final position. When the uh, different mass can be attached, we can try for trial now depending on this let us analyze to find the k and the uh, spring constant since we have recorded the data the second step is to calculate the spring constant so the standard value of the spring constant is for this spring constant is 10 newton per meter this is the standard value this is given to you then you can check the standard value with the experimental value and finally you can calculate the percentage of error so from the data recorders if you can take the amount of extension means the trial for the, the second trial for the first trial we are not add any masses so we left it then we can proceed to the second data then the second data when you are adding 50 grams it have stretch the amount of storage is 10.4 so we can take when you can subtract from this 10.4 minus 7 is around uh, when you are changing in meters this is 0 0.034 meters 
This is the amount of stretch. Then the second step is to find the forces is equal to is m times g. M is the masses. The mass attaching is it is 50 gram. When you can change it in the kilogram, it's 0.05 kilogram times g is gravity 9.8. So the force is 0.49 newtons. Then the spring constant, experimental value of spring constant is is equal with m times g divided by x. m times g means this is equal with the forces. So that his force we can get 0.49 divided by change in x means 0.034 meter. Then we divide this value, we can get 40.4 newton per meter is the first trial for the spring constants. Then the work on the spring is calculated by 1 over 2k times change in x square. Here we have spring constant 40.4. Change in x means 0 0.034. Then we are insert in this equation. It is around 8.3 times 10 to the power of minus 3 joules for the second trial. For the third trial, the amount of extension when we are adding the 100 grams on the springs, it is when you can subtract, we can get 0 0.102 meter. The force is m times g, masses attaching on is 100 gram. When you are changing kilograms, 0.1 kilogram times gravity is 9.8, constant for all. It is around 0.98 newtons is the forces. Spring constant is equal with m times g divided by Change in x, here we can get m times g is 0.98 divided by change in x is 0 0.102. Then finally, the spring constant is 9.6 newton per meter for the third trial. The work on the spring is 1 over 2k times change in x square. We can have the spring constant here. Change in x, we have z here, 0 0.102. When we are insert in the equation, we have 49 times 0 point, uh, 49 times 10 to the power of minus 3 joule. The last trial is the amount of the spring stretched when we are substrat is 0 0.17 meter. The force is equal m times g. Here uh, the force, the mass attaching on that spring is 150 gram. When we are changing the kilogram, 0 0.15 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second is the value is 1.47 newtons. Then the spring constant is mg divided by change in x. Here one. 1.47 divided by 0 0.17 meter. Here we have 8.65 newton per meter. The work is work on the spring is 1 over 2k times change in square. So here when I insert the value, this is around 124.9 times 10 to the power of minus 3 joule. This is the value. Let us take the value in these data. So, so we have just like these forms. In the first trial, we have in the add any masses they have just like these forms then the second trial we have this form this is the final this is amount of extension this is the forces this is the spring constant this is the work done on the springs this is the second trial this is the third trial so we have three value for the springs we can done three trials so we have 40.4 90.6, there is 8.65 there. Experimental value, when you are done, we can get three different value for the spring constant. We can say that before, if you remember, the standard value of the spring constant is 10 newton per meter. So finally, you can find the percentage of error. The percentage of error is percentage of error. Relative error is given by absolute value of the standard value, standard value minus experimental value under absolute value divided by standard value times 100 percent so from this expression the standard value is it is 10 newton per meter this is given to you minus experimental value means when you can divide this uh, when you are adding 40.4 plus 9.6 divide plus 8.65 and divide by 3 you can get around 10.8 newton per meter this is experimental value divide by 10 newton per meter times 100 because the percentage is from 100 so around here you can when you are subtract this and you divide by 10 and you can multiply by 100 it is around 8% is around percentage of error. This is comes due to different things because when you are measuring uh, the amount of stretch, it's difficult to measure take points because 
we can counting the small scale of the ruler is it can be difficult to win we are adding the, some masses so this one this is the one ways of measuring the uh, spring constant there are different things this or there are different steps to calculate the hook's laws one way is to adding some masses on the springs and you can take the extension and you can calculate in just like this another expression of measuring the spring constant is we are adding some forces and you can make vibrate that masses when you are uh, vibrating on the masses on the springs go just like uh, pendulum so you can take the masses and uh, you can take the time of oscillation and also you can calculate from that this is how to calculate the spring constants in the simple voices. So this is what we are learning or what we can see the practical work is on the hoax losses. In the next classes, we can come in another experiment. Until that is, if you are new for our channel, you can subscribe. Bye.